Tell him that's it. Passing of the gavel. There's and, a nice the box ample. to keep it in. <laughs> so she, she's our president. I um, actually reread the Constitution for the first time in a while while we were in the back today. And uh, she's, she's president as of the end of August. So yeah. For six years, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two with an option of three. So old business. Thank you, ma'am. That's all I need. Old business. Uh, VP and tech committee. Talked about that. Uh, engaged the tower climber. Talked about that. Surplus property status. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces of surplus property still left. Uh, after releasing it to uh, club members only, we've gone ahead and listed them, uh, those last bits and pieces on OK Trader. Take a look, see if it's something you might be interested in. Okay. Um, new business, all hand club dinner. All hand club dinner this coming Thursday, the 21st, Golden, uh, Golden Palais in Midwest City. Uh, we'll start at 6 p.m. Starting 30 minutes earlier uh, because of uh, some requests by several people because of uh, dietary needs, i.e. they're diabetic. They need to start eating at a certain time. So we're gonna start a little earlier. Ocapa is the host this time. And as per normal, we'll talk about what each club is doing and also about events in the amateur radio community. Okay. Um, yes, sir. Back on club property. I still have a whole bunch of aluminum that was left over. Most of it is, uh, high, not high gain. Uh, hmm. First draft stuff, uh, elements, booms, uh, no traps. They disappeared from uh, from the citadel wherever they were had been stored. Uh, I, I would like to get them out of my backyard. So, if anybody needs some aluminum, you you can build a beam. Uh, you know, stuff like that. The heavy parts are there, the booms uh, and ele elements, but uh, no traps. Okay. Um, technician license class. Okay, we're gonna start a tech class Tuesday after next. Um, this will uh, meet at Wickline, we'll meet down in room 103. Uh, set out a bunch of uh, notices to a variety of uh, agencies, including the local media. We got an article in the uh, Oklahoma in their living section. Uh, I hope to get something in the or have the Midwest City Beacon display something uh, this next week. Anyway, we've gotten uh, now three people in the class. Um, I've been kind of watching some of the uh, comments in the EHAM licensing forum. And I've seen many places where people have said, we've offered technician classes, opened the doors and nobody showed up. Same thing in the licensing, uh, again in the licensing area where they were talking about testing clubs, uh, commenting about, we used to have anywhere from four to 15 people a month all of a sudden, after this $35 licensing fee came in, boom, it just shut down. So I think this, we're seeing some initial reaction from this $35 fee in terms of people being having an interest in uh, getting their technician or even testing. Yeah. Question. The $35 only comes in uh, on the, upon application to the FCC for a license, not for the test. Correct? That's that correct. That when you take the test and it, it's put in yeah. into the system, that's when the, the, uh, your account, as it were, is debited. But anyway, it's apparently having some impact. Anyway, our uh, curriculum, as we mentioned, will start uh, on the 26th. Our instructor cadre is Terry. 
uh, Dave, Dwayne, myself, and Steve. Uh, we'll be going uh, through these various subjects down through October 24th, week five. That's when Terry will be teaching about communicating with other hands. He'll also introduce to the students uh, locations of practice online tests so they can start getting rid of that testing anxiety. Week six is Halloween. And just to make sure from ghosties and ghoulies and long-legged beasties and things that go bump in the night, may the Lord God protect us. <laughs> and uh, there's a possibility we might try to combine week six and seven by starting a little earlier that evening. That'll get us done a week earlier. The final week, uh, safety with uh, Terry. Uh, we'll possibly have a test session that evening, or if the, the students want to, they can wait till the following OCAPA meeting and come in and test. We'll just have to see what their druthers are. If you want to come and visit any of the classes, that's fine. We ask you to do two things. One, sit in the back of the room quietly. Two, hold any comments until instruction time is done, i.e., don't interrupt the instructor. Uh, because you may throw in a comment, and in fact, the instructor's about ready to cover that, or it's something that'll be covered in a later later class. So uh, hold any comments and war stories till, till the end of instruction time. Once again, we'll be down in room 103, start at 6.30, hope to finish by 8.30. Again, everybody is welcome. If you know someone that is interested in getting their technician, um, let have them contact me and we can get the information to them, get them set up. Bill, you had a question. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bill is one of our other instructors. It's always good to have a doctor on. 